This is a red letter day for all of us. It's been 50 years of our statehood. And though many things have happened, many things have changed, many things have moved forward. And it's a matter of pride and a matter of honor for all of us that on the 50th year of our statehood, this golden jubilee celebration, that we are inaugurating this building and that too in the name of Captain Bilinson Sangma, who was our first Chief Minister when the state was This is a red letter day for all of us. It's been 50 years of our statehood. And though many things have happened, many things have changed, many things have moved forward, but it has taken us 50 years to have our own university. And it's a matter of pride and a matter of honor for all of us that on the 50th year of our statehood, this golden jubilee celebration, that we are inaugurating this building and that too in the name of Captain Williamson Sangma who was our first chief minister when the state was formed. And therefore, it is very befitting that on the 50th year, we remember him and dedicate this college, this university, which is named after him, to the people of our state. As was mentioned by many people before me, this was a technical university. And limited courses were supposed to be taught here. But because of different circumstances and different challenges that we faced in the previous years, and also in order to ensure that we have our own university. The cabinet had decided that this technical university should be converted into a full-fledged state university. And for that, necessary steps have been taken. And we are awaiting the proposal or the ordinance to be ratified by the Honorable Governor. Once that is done, the official ordinance will be notified and we will be able to start the different functioning and different courses from this very campus. As was rightly said by the Vice-Chancellor, that this infrastructure that we have is not enough and that we need to work towards creating a proper blueprint and a master plan to ensure that this university has all the necessary facilities that are required by the students and for a university to function in a proper manner. Let me assure all of you that that is exactly what our plan is. Apart from basic things like the boundary wall which has been sanctioned now and we expect the work to start soon. We have already sanctioned the road connectivity from the main road up to the campus and this building out here for which also we expect the work to start very soon. And as suggested we have already started working on 
a larger picture, larger plan on where this university should go in the coming years. As mentioned earlier, this was supposed to be a technical university and hence the scope and the plan was limited. But now, with the overall expansion of this into a full-fledged university, we will need to work out on detailed plans to make the entire university function in a much better manner and more steps will have to be taken to ensure that we strengthen the overall system and the process to make this university our first state university into one of the better and yes in the coming future the best university in the region. Friends, education has been one of the top priorities for this government. I remember in 2018, when we had taken over, I was given a presentation on the 2,600 government LP schools, which were either in a completely dilapidated condition or were in a very bad condition where students could not study. We took it upon ourselves, in spite of the financial challenges, that we will improve the overall infrastructure in the government LP schools. And in the last five years, I'm happy to inform you that close to 500 crores has been spent to improve the overall infrastructure in different schools, built up new buildings in different areas where the buildings were no longer usable. And sanction has been done and work has been allotted so that the rest of the schools where we were not able to complete the work earlier, that enough funds and the work for the improvement of those schools will start. I expect that to happen anytime in a day or two where the works will be allotted. I think some have already been done and we expect the works to start within a couple of weeks time. So slowly and steadily we are moving towards ensuring that infrastructures improve. I remember 2018 in my first visit to Bakmara, I went to the college, again Captain Williamson Sangma College, and we saw the condition in which the students were studying. And it was hard to believe that a college could function like that. There were dangerous points where the floor was cracking. And anything could happen to the students or to the faculty. And we decided immediately that not just in Bakmara College, but all the other government colleges which do not have proper infrastructure, immediate funds will be given to ensure that the building work starts. And I'm happy to see that in all the locations, in Sora and in William Nagar, the building is almost completed. Maybe another 10-15% is left. And in Bakmara also, we are seeing fast improvement in the construction. And hopefully within this calendar year itself, we should be able to see all the three buildings being inaugurated. Apart from that, many other areas of reforms in terms of training and other aspects in terms of policy, which were pending for a very, very long time, have been taken up under this government. And therefore, I feel very happy and satisfied to look back at these last five years and see the kind of work that has gone into education and see that the overall level of education goes up. But while I say that, I'm not saying that everything has changed. Education maybe or most probably is one of the most complicated sectors in the state today. One of the most complicated departments in the state today. One of the most challenging departments in the state today. We have numerous categories of teachers, almost 26 categories of teachers are there. 
we have different categories who we need to support but at the same time there is no actual way of monitoring the working of those schools there's very little safe on the government side though the financial impact is there of over 2000 crores which we have to spend for different ad hoc and deficit schools and colleges and yet government does not have a detailed say and that's why we come came out with the education commission which will now look into the overall functioning of all the different schools and education institutions a very very major and important step and we also realize that we cannot go for drastic steps in one go because it's like a system which is running a system which requires nurturing and if we try to push too hard we might see the system fall and that may create even bigger challenges for us and hence a delicate approach is required and hence all these things came into our mind but slowly and steadily we have moved forward one by one trying to you know untie the knots that have come out and trying to clear up the picture in the education department so that at the end we are able to provide the right education to our children we realize that there is a large dropout rate there is not enough space in colleges for our students to study in and though we are coming up with number of government colleges maybe the speed at which we can come out may not be sufficient and hence the concept of people's colleges come up where financial support is given and different posts sanctioned posts is given to different colleges and i'm happy to see that already nine are functional and we have sanctioned another 12 and i can assure you that in the coming days and years as we move along we are hopeful that the government will ensure that more and more of these people's college comes out so that our children, our youth, who need the proper guidance, who need the proper facilities, who need the infrastructure, the accessibility, get that particular accessibility and the education that they deserve. Friends, we have a large challenge in front of us. And this large challenge is the youth of our state. People say that the youth is our greatest strength, and I believe it is our greatest strength. But it is also our greatest challenge. If we are not able to guide them in the right way, and I keep repeating this, if we are not able to guide our youth in the right way, they will become the biggest destructive force for our society. But if we can nurture them and guide them in the right manner, they will become the greatest constructive force for this nation. And that depends on us. That depends on you and me and the society on how we will ensure that the energy of this youth, the greatest strength of our country today, is used in the right manner and channelized in the right manner so that it becomes the most powerful force to take our state forward and it is these institutions like these it is the policies that we create it is the programs that we allow them to have sports and music art culture give them the opportunity our energy of the youth needs to be channelized they want it to be channelized and hence friends when we talk about Education, it's not just one picture of just education. The subject and the center is the youth. And all the other things we do around in our programs and policies as a government and as a society go around this youth out here. The youth is at the center of all of it. Whether it's sports, it's the youth. Whether it's culture, whether it's music, whether it's education, whether it's a different kind of substance abuse issues, that we are talking about, the dream project that we have come up with. We need to realize that this building is here. But the purpose of this building and the purpose of each one of us sitting here today is not to ensure that this building finishes or comes out the right way. It is to be able to ensure that the youth that we are targeting, that they should be given the right guidance that they deserve and the right opportunity. Our focus and our purpose and our mission is the youth of our state and our nation. We should not forget that mission and that focus. Everything else revolves around that. And therefore, when we sit in the classroom and we're teaching somebody, we should not be looking at the course that we're trying to finish. 
We should not be saying that the classroom is going to get over at 12.30. But we are working with the purpose to see that every single student sitting in my classroom is going to come out as a responsible, God-fearing citizen of this country. And until and unless we don't approach the education sector with that mission and purpose in our mind, we are failing in our duty to be able to provide the right education to our children. And that is why it's very important that we keep reminding ourselves what is it that we are here for? What is our purpose? Why are we creating these universities? It is to mold and to create better citizens, productive citizens, responsible citizens, God-fearing citizens, citizens who respect our elders, citizens who are patriotic and love the country. I hope that this university will become a temple and an institution to ensure that we are able to create such responsible and productive youth for the future of our state. Let me assure you, we have very big plans for this university. I want things to be at a level that people will not be able to imagine. But, uh, this is a great moment. I'm very, very feeling emotional because um, this is a really a historic moment for us. And uh, I, I don't know how many of you can feel it and realize what this means to us. But those who realize what this means, I'm sure is, are feeling the same way that I am. That this is going to be a beginning of a lot of very, very important things for our state. And this should have been done a long time back in terms of uh, a full-fledged university. But it's never too late. And I wish our Vice Chancellor, I wish our entire team out here the very best. May God give them the guidance and the wisdom, guidance to ensure that we are able to take this university in the right direction. I really wish the entire team the very best. I thank the Education Department for all the work that they're doing to making this uh, university come to where it is. And I'm sure that they will work much harder now to create the kind of model university that we would want this to be one day. Thank you very much. Kublai Shibun, Mathela, Jai.